something I've been working on for um, a few weeks in my spare time. Uh, this is at another location where I, I um, come and stay for a while. Anyway, th this is a, a curious little uh, device here, and I'm calling it the needle roller motor. And how it operates, it's just a simple make and break, but instead of a reed switch or anything, the needle uh, runs on a carbon brush from a motor and makes contact through the circuit, a coil, and then an LED that's facing backwards. And then as the rotor rotates, the needle rolls in this hole, and it rolls back and forth and makes contact in sort of an erratic fashion. And um, you can see that in there, but that needle is rolling back and forth and tapping on the wire. And as it taps on the wire, it makes a, a sort of an erratic contact in just the right fashion, if you get everything just right, that the motor runs. And um, underneath there is the uh, carbon brush from a motor that the needle runs in to make contact. And then uh, it goes, uh, the coil is there, and then I'm using a supercapacitor to hold about uh, two and a half, three volts. And uh, I haven't done any testing as far as energy consumption, but the LED is placed across the coil to gather the uh, uh, flyback from the coil and make it flash. But uh, yeah, to, to get this to work, so that that thing rolls back and forth just right and makes contact, you have to adjust the uh, gravity factor in the thing. And that little thing right there tips this platform in just the right way so that that needle rolls just at the right time and makes the contact. And like I say, I'm calling this the needle roller motor. And uh, I'm lid motor, and this is uh, September 24th. And I'll give you an idea of what's going on here. But it's a really simple little device, make and break device. But I'm using the rolling action of that needle in that hole to actually make the contact. And it's a sporadic type of thing. And you have to get this uh, leveled uh, or unleveled. It's just the right way to make that needle roll back and forth. But anyway, that's what I'm calling the needle roller motor. Uh, I got this bell jar at the 99 cent store. It's something they sell for Halloween. And it worked perfect for a little project like this. Thanks for watching.